What's up guys, today we are giving you a first look at the Pickleball Apes Proline Energy S. When the original Proline Energy came out, there was a lot of buzz surrounding this paddle. And if you guys are interested in the details of what makes a Kevlar surface for a paddle interesting, you can go check out my buddy John Q's review because he goes way in depth on the original Proline Energy and a lot of that is going to carry over to this paddle. Before we dive in, here are the specs. It's $170, but with discount code PBSTUDIO, you can save 10%, which brings it down to about $153. The core thickness is 16 and millimeter. The grip circumference is four and a quarter. The grip length is 5.5 inches. The swing weight is between 118 and 120, which is actually on the slightly heavier side for a paddle of this shape. Most paddles with this shape have been somewhere between 113 and 117, so do be aware that this may feel a little bit heavier than some of the paddles that you're used to. The surface is Kevlar and the core is polypropylene. One nice thing about Pickleball Apes is that they do offer a 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like the paddle, which is not something that a lot of Pickleball companies offer these days. So you are able to try it risk free. But anyways, now with the specs out of the way, here's our thoughts on the paddle. What's up everybody? Testing the Proline Energy S. Been playing with the Filth by Bread and Butter. It's like my all time favorite paddle. A little bit different shape, um, but testing this today so far, uh, initial thoughts right as it first hit the ball, it has like a really stiff face, so it feels almost like a board. It's got a decent amount of pop, um, but dinking, everything felt very good. Drops were super consistent. I actually really like that. Um, I think it's pretty much just an all court paddle. Spin seemed to be about standard. There wasn't really anything special there. Uh, speed ups and hand speed, everything there seemed really normal, nothing super special. I could play with it just fine in a tournament if I wanted to. I did have to put lead tape on it. I was not a fan of it without lead tape, so I added just uh, probably about three inches of lead tape here down at the throat, improved it drastically. Got rid of a lot of the vibration, uh, stabled it up a bit, um, drops, hand speed, everything, just way better. Pop off the face was great. Um, so if you do get this, I highly recommend putting some lead on it. Otherwise, it's gonna have a lot of vibration. But overall, pretty solid paddle. All right, what's up guys? So today we took out the Proline Energy S. I think a lot of you are familiar with the main Proline Energy, which was the 17 inch paddle and made quite a bit of buzz, especially from John Q's review. So we took out the S, which is their, you know, kind of hybrid-ish shape. I believe this is actually 16.5 inches, so it's not really a, a true hybrid, but it's got the rounded head. I honestly really liked the paddle. While I don't think it's anything super special or drastically different than what a lot of paddles are out there, I did really like playing with it. And I would call it probably more of an all court paddle. Uh, resets felt extremely easy. That was probably one of my favorite things with it. Uh, third shot drops as well. I'm sure we'll cut to some of that in here. It was very, very easy to drop with this thing probably one of the easiest ones I've dropped with in a little bit, especially with how many power paddles I've been using recently. Bad yeah, drops, resets really good. Honestly, in hands, it didn't feel bad. While it doesn't have that crazy power that the new Gearbox has or some of the other thermoform paddles we've used like Carbon One X's, I did feel like it was acceptable. Like I felt very in control of the ball. I felt like I was able to do what I wanted with it, but it wasn't anything stand out. And I did compare it against the regular Proline Energy just a little bit. And I didn't notice a huge difference other than that the sweet spot was bigger. So resets felt a little better and maybe the longer 17 inch one may have felt a little bit stiffer or a little bit more power, but nothing substantial. So it's hard to say who I would really say this is for when there are a lot of really good options out there. You've got the Valer Mach 1 Forza, you've got the Rhombus R1 Pulsar, you've got the Nova, you've got the Double Black Diamond, like it's stacked against a lot of competition. So I don't know exactly who I would say it's for, but it is a good paddle. If you were interested in this or you liked the Proline Energy, but you just wanted in a different shape and you wanted a wider sweet spot, I think this does that very well. I could go to a tournament, just fine with this. I really enjoyed playing with it. I don't think it's one that I'm gonna switch to, but I do think it is a really nice paddle. I did end up playing with mine stock. I would possibly consider adding lead, but I didn't really feel like it needed it for me. If I did any, might put it like just above the bottom corners, just a small amount, maybe just add a little bit of power to it. But otherwise the paddle was pretty much fine out of the box. If you guys do plan to pick one of these up, you can use discount code PBStudio to save 10%. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.